Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Uh, this is just a quick update for Idic Beer's 2015 painting challenge. Um, I haven't done a lot of painting uh, this week. Uh, the main reason for that is because where I live it's been plus 40 degrees uh, Celsius, so it's been a little bit too uh, hot and sweaty to be painting miniatures. And um, to be honest, the paint's been drying on the on the brush, uh, and there's only so much you can water down your paint before it just gets like too ridiculous to even bother like putting onto a miniature um, without having some sort of control over the paint so to be fair I haven't bothered um, sitting here sweating as I'm doing this video to be fair um, and as far as undercoating well I don't undercoat in this heat because the paint starts to dry as it leaves the nozzle so you just end up with something that looks like a friggin furry great mess so hopefully the weather will break in the next couple of days and I can uh, have half a chance to get some paint down um, but what I have done um, in the early morning um, when the paint went sort of on my days off from work um, I've done some freehand so I'll just flip him around and hopefully the camera will pick this up um, as you can see I've already put big coats of varnish over it so I don't scratch it um, you can see this this here wasn't reflecting before but now it is because um, I really don't want any damage on this. You know, I can be a little bit rough at times. So um, basically, just copy the design um, of one of the larger runes, um, like a psychic sort of a far series type rune, um, and just measure them out. So I got them sort of equal. I don't think I, I nailed the positioning, um, but once you start putting paint down on these things, it's uh, it's all or nothing. So. Um, I think this one here is probably a little bit too close to that edge, but, you know, so be it. Um, I'll do a bit more, I'll probably do some black bordering around the edges, um, and some black up in through here, and I want to put, I want to paint in, if I can work out the distance, um, there's that little helix, sort of, um, from the Wraith Guard. I wouldn't mind putting something in there, um, I think I'll be able to get it in there alright. See how we go, see how steady my hand is. Um, but yeah, I sort of punched them out into a 3D effect. Try to sort of look at, um, look at making them sort of that bony style effect. Um, so made the edges a little bit, a little bit rough with the highlighting. Just to give it more of a sort of a more natural feel. But um, yeah, I'm happy with them. A um, bit more to do. I've, I did start on his arm, on his other arm. Just, just started putting some black and uh, not black the the greys with those really deep blue washes and the armor wash that I've been using as well. So yeah, so that's that guy getting pretty close to being done. If my camera focuses, there we go. I've put the little eye of Allthway just on that cloth as well, but I've got to bring up. Uh, I've got to bring up to the about. I'd say really bright white yellow to run that highlight along so a little tiny brush that I've got I've just got to punch in some there and then I might just in the creases just bring them down a little bit getting towards the orange just to give it that more of a 3D effect to go along with that sash um, yeah so a few gemstones to do uh, finish off this arm a bit more finish off the other arm and he's he's looking pretty good he'll be pretty close to being done I reckon I don't think I'm going to do these as gemstones up along here, because um, I've got a I've got a new toy. I picked it up the other day, um, and I'm adding it to my list of miniatures I'm doing for next challenge because of this thing I really want to do. Um, so I'll muck around with the camera. Um, we can probably hear it already. So I'll move the camera back a little bit, guys, and I'll show you what I got and why I want to paint it. Chuching, yep. I got a hemlock, or the other one, Crimson Hunter, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, still all new and shiny in the box. Shrink wrap still on. Uh, so yeah, I'm just debating. Obviously, it's going to be black with a whole heap of bone and blah 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 blah. But don't know whether to do some space scene like I do on my canvases. Those sort of planets and some moons is one idea here, and then have on the wing on the other side 
have like a webway portal opening up with a couple of runes, maybe the Eye of Isha and some other runes coming through so it looks like the Eldar are coming out of the web gate or the webway um, and going towards a planet, that's one idea I have. The other idea I got is just having a whole heap of interconnecting runes all over it um, with like lightning sort of connecting it to form a shield around the plane um, because it's going to be a hemlock fighter it's very much based in the, in the psychic element of the Eldar so I don't know maybe I'll leave it up to you guys take a vote you want me to do a space scene all over it with the webway portal or do you want me to do a, um, a psychic shield on it um, that's my two options at the moment so leave a, leave a comment below and tell me what you think I should paint and what you want to see me paint and we'll make it happen all right guys cheers for watching um, Thanks for your support over the past couple of updates. It means a lot to me um, when I do all this, all this work and silly freehand and stuff like that. You guys digging it? Um, sort of spurs me along to do some more. So a quick update has turned into six minutes. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. It's always uh, very much appreciated. Cheers for watching. See you guys.